Skeletons. Are they throwing darts? I think these things are throwing darts. Or at least they were. Wow. Oh, Blake, that is a cutting steel. Hmm. Yeah, dart throwing skeletons. I can try. Oh wait, no, they're not darts, they're throwing daggers. <laughs> Kali keeping a few. And uh Karen actually taking uh, one of the skulls, one of the skeletons. Thinking it uh, might be useful for some sort of magical reagent or spell. Whoa, 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 spiders. Crap. Spiders and the deadly poison. Let's get ranged weapons ready. Alright, one spider down. Spiders, thankfully, not very fast. Run, run, run! Fire! Down it goes. Killing the spiders before they could move in on us and deliver their deadly bite. Pretty much assuming that any kind of monstrous spiders out in this wilderness is venomous. A ghoul. Wow, a more powerful one dead. Oh wow, a bunch of ghouls actually. Oh, whoa, whoa. Easy there, Khalid. I do my best. Alright, taking him one down. Khalid playing bait for the ghouls. The ice 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 Chest here. Fails to unlock it. Come on, anyone. You can do it. Ah. Fire is fresh. Alright, Mincy is seeing if he can force it. Nope. Unable to force it. Unable to pick it. Damn, that is a well-locked chest. Do we have anything that could help us get that open? Potion of Hill Giant Strength. Might make uh, someone strong enough to force it. Or actually, this, the crazy Violet Potion. <laughs> that sets Dexterity and Constitution to 3 because 25 strength. I don't think that chest would be able to stand up to that. Lasts for 24 hours, though. Damn. Well, I'm gonna say that... I'm not interested in seeing what's in this chest. I mean, even though it doesn't look like this hut is abandoned, there were a whole bunch of monsters, spiders and ghouls in front of it. Whoever must have been here has probably been killed. So, Minsk drinking the hill giant strength drink. Hopefully that will give him the strength to force this lock. Oh God, and it doesn't. This way. Who made this chest? Nineteenth strength can't force it. Anyone's lock picking expertise can't open it. Damn. What else can you do to it? You can't I'm actually gone. damage it, can you? Foiled by a damn chest. Hmm. Kicking for goodness. 
for all we know, that could have been Thalantir's home. <laughs> it's gonna appear out of nowhere and blast us with magic for trying to rob his house. Somehow I doubt that, though. Whoa, look who this is. Permidian Stark. Whoa, slow down. I'm trying to plan the grandest of heists here. All you're tromping about, I can't hear a word I'm thinking. Oh, this guy throws a hissy fit because a few words broke the silence of the woods. I want to see him in Puffcut's kitchen on the night of the Midsummer Feast. He'd probably lose his mind and start screaming or something. <laughs> He'd fit right in. Carried, uh, woodily replying, Of course you can't hear a word you're thinking. You have to say it out loud first. Okay, okay, here's the plan. There's a big time mage living just over that rise. Magic items scattered all over the place, I'm betting. Trouble is, he's got these two hideous flesh monsters guarding him, and no shadows where I can lurk. Brute force is useless against the monsters. Everything is useless. There must be a way to outwit the witless, but damned if I know how. Ah, oh, hell, I guess I'd be better off just finding a halfling village somewhere to pick on. This dive is all yours. Okay, thief apparently pointing out where the wizard lives, which I guess is here. And saying that there are two flesh monsters inside that we have to be aware of. That's high edge. So, uh, hopefully the wizard will receive us kindly and not sick those flesh monsters that he mentioned on us. That would be really nice. Okay, um... I can, but Going in try. here. Alright. Very interesting looking uh, magical circle. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> yeah, Thalantir. I be Thalantir, mighty mage of Maragoth. I don't have much patience for strangers on my property. Do us both a favor and move along. Unless, of course, you have magic for sale. From the looks of you, you don't look as if you could afford the items I have for sale. Hey. Care persisting. I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. I've already stated that I wish you to leave. Care doesn't want to leave. Of course he doesn't want to get harsh with him. So he says, rumors talk of a powerful mage that lives out here. If it is you, I would like to speak with you. Rumors? Bah. There's no mage here that wishes to speak or be spoken of. Unless, of course, if you have magic that you wish to sell. We're interested in selling or even buying magical items. What do you have? Okay. He has all kinds of magic stuff. Magic ammunition. Healing potions. Other kinds of potions. Protection scrolls, including a very powerful protection for magic scroll. Probably one of the most powerful protection for magic scrolls, considering it makes you immune to magic for as long as it lasts. Costs a pretty penny, though. And actual spell scrolls, which is what we came here for. Looks like he has a bunch of interesting choices. Very cool. He also has some wands. Very expensive. Sleep and fear. And it looks like he has some unique magical items. Horn of Kazgarath. This horn is thought to be made from one of the tusks of the great beast Kazgarath Roth. It imbu who imbued it with enchantments is unknown, but it is a very potent item. When blown upon, no sound issues from the horn. Instead, the user of the horn is encased in the globe of power for a short duration. The bubble gives the user partial magic immunity and saving throw bonuses, as well as partially deflecting incoming missile attacks. The effect only lasts 18 seconds. The horn draws from the life force of the user every time it is used. It makes you immune to first and second level spells, gives you bonuses to saves, arm, uh, plus five armor class versus missiles, and it does damage to the user, but it doesn't say how much. Can't buy use by clerics or druids or thieves. Interesting. So protection in magical saves and missiles, and you pay for it with hit points. Interesting. And also way too expensive. The claw of Kazgaroth. Little is known about this item other than the claw itself was taken from the corpse of the great beast. 
It has multiple enchantments that all become activated when the claw is worn as a ring. The image of the wearer becomes blurred and more difficult to hit with weapons or target with spells. It has one drawback, however, it seems to fuel its power with the blood of its wearer. Because of this, the wearer of the claw will often be more sickly and therefore more susceptible to poisons. Gives you a plus one armor class bonus, plus four against missiles. Your save versus death, you actually get a penalty to that, but you get a plus three bonus to wands, polymorph, breath, and spells, all the other saves. And a negative two constitution modifier, using it as a ring. Hmm, it's intense. Not sure that's worth it, but it's powerful. Wow. And robes of the good and neutral archmagi. Protects the user from all physical attacks 